this video, I'll show you how to add your end screens to the end of your videos. Yay! Okay, so I am in YouTube Studio, and I'm going to click on the video that I like. Well, first you want to click videos here on the left side, and then click the video you want to add the end screen to. And I do have a bunch of extra stuff um, that shows up red here from TubeBuddy, and I use their free version, so definitely click the link in the description box to get the free version. I will be doing another set of tutorials just on TubeBuddy, so definitely check that out. Now onto our tutorial. Here the end screen is what we want to click. There's this little button here that says end screen under cards. We've already done a video on cards and now we're going to do end screens. Yay, you're going to be so pro at YouTube by the time we're done. Okay, <laughs> so excited for you. Now, this video already has end screens in. One thing with end screens is they can only be 20 seconds long. So this graphic that I have here, you want to make sure that it's only on your video for 20 seconds or less. And if you want a free version of this, definitely go to ladymora.com YT and I give you a wonderful arrangement of different graphics that you could use for YouTube. I call it the Lady Mora graphic YouTube. I call it the Go to ladymora.com slash YT where you will get the Lady Mora YouTube graphic starter pack for free. Yeah. So here in this video, um, I have this video, how to add videos to Pinterest and a subscribe button. I'm going to click the little pencil and delete. So you can see this is how you would delete your elements. Delete. Okay. Now you can use a template. There are three different things you can add. And you can see here this rectangle is a video or a playlist, the square is a link, and the circle is a subscribe button. With the link, you have to have, I think, at least 1,000 followers and 4,000 watch minutes every month or something like that. So there's a requirement you have to meet before you can get that enabled. So if I were to add, let's say we want to add this template here, click select. And here you go. All you'd have to do is choose videos. So we're just going to choose some random videos. I'm going to choose this free end screen template video here. And then for the next one, I'm going to choose a playlist. Yay. Okay. So I do have this text here that says watch more and that's usually where I'll put a video. I usually just do one video. So let's go ahead and delete that. But you can see this is a playlist. And if they click that playlist, they'll get taken to the playlist and the videos will play one right after the other. If you want help on how to create playlists, go to the video that I've done on that that you will find in the cards in the top right hand of this video or in the description box below. And this for some reason does not want to delete. There we go. Okay, because I have the subscribe button here, I'm going to actually, we're not going to do that yet either. Let's import from a video so that you can see the different ways you can do this. So this delete playlist here is part of the playlist series that I have done and you can see there I my graphic is consistent on where the watch more and subscribe is so once I've done that graphic the end screen graphic for one video and I've set up this um, the way I like this layout laid out for one video I can just copy over and over again and that saves me time at the end of my videos. I don't have to go and drag and resize all the time. It's already where I like it and how I want it. So that's another way to do it is to import it from another video. And if you want to do it one by one, granted, if you don't have it already in, if you don't already have your end screens on, you can import from a video. So you'll definitely have to either use a template or add elements one by one first. So let's click video or playlist. And we're going to say, if you want the most recent video that you've uploaded, if you want YouTube to choose from their suggested videos, if you want YouTube to choose which video would be best for your viewer, or if you want to choose a video or a playlist, which is what I had shown you earlier. I like to specifically choose videos more for the purpose of, I told you about playlist. And then I can say, okay, I've just told you about playlists. Then a great place to start would be how to make a YouTube playlist to show up at the end of the video. Where I mentioned it in the video earlier and now you can see it. So that's another way to do things. Add element, subscribe button. So this subscribe button will just be your logo from YouTube and when your viewer hovers over it it'll pop up a subscribe button. The next one is to promote a channel. So I do have another channel. 
So I popped in the channel username here, click create element. Oh, let's do just to say travel with lady. There we go. We're going to put it up here because I'm going to move that later, but I just want to show you what it'll look like. Click save because we always want to save our stuff. And we're going to click this preview here so we can see what it'll look like. Okay, so if I click here, if I click on that, it'll take me to that channel. If I hover over here, it gives me the option to subscribe or go to that channel. If I click here, it'll play a video. So that's how you create end screens or end cards for your videos. And now you are on the end screen of this video. So go ahead and like and subscribe if you're enjoying this YouTube series. I'm enjoying teaching you. And if you want to learn how to build a product line business or how to build your website, because I have stuff like that coming up soon, go to ladymora.com biz.